All right, Tessa, stop me if you've heard this one. Uh, four brave warriors of you light. Can stop. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> Bravely Default 2 is out, everybody, and we're going to check it out. So welcome back to the dojo right here on Rage Light. I'm Jeff. I'm Tessa. And uh, Tessa, tell us tell us a little bit about your JRPG experience. Have, have you and I, have we talked about this before? I've I've played my fair share of JRPGs. That's mostly what I grew up on. Okay. So, yeah, I'm all about those Final Fantasies and Wild Arms and Lunar, the Silver Song story. Uh, okay, yeah. Sure, That's yeah. All that jazz. Mm -hmm. uh, into it. Man, that intro card there looked like the beginning of uh, Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> is, this, is this Honkly Default? <laughs> this is, yes. <laughs> Turns out this is just Untitled Goose Game 2. They really went out. They really went out of their way to make it a different game than the first one. I'm going to honk at that yeah. farmer. I'm going to be so sassy. <laughs> uh. So what was like, what was then your, did you start on like the NES, the Super Nintendo, PlayStation? I guess Nintendo Legend of Zelda. I mean, that's okay. JRPG. Like Final Fantasy 1, Dragon Warrior, that kind yep. of stuff? Yep. Oh, Dragon All Warrior. stuff. If it was a JRPG, I probably played it. Okay. Uh played a lot of them. Uh, call out your name. There you get to name your character. You don't want to do that when you're underwater. You get a bunch of like water in your mouth. Uh, make uh, your name be like... Should, should, we do, should we do something silly? Uh, uh, let's see. How about semicolon, semicolon, gasp, semicolon, semicolon, <laughs> or colon, excuse me? Just some, <laughs> just some emojis. Yeah, uh, just gasp. <laughs> uh, uh oh, okay. Can't breathe. Uh, actually, here, I, I, let's, just, let's just make it like... Just straight up. Wait, what the? Oh, yeah. Right. Just name this him Bubbles, because that's all that's going to come out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Bubbles. We'll make him Bubbles, the warrior of light. My name's Bubbles. Yeah, um, I'm one of the Powerpuff Girls. So you were Bubbles. Yes, <laughs> I am. <laughs> I always, I always hated that when you, uh, I don't know, I feel like the world is divided into two types of people. The uh -huh. people that renamed all the characters in their JRPGs mm -hmm. and people who were just like, no, he's called Cloud. I don't want him to be called Butts or like, he, like my friend's name or whatever. Some I, I usually just rename him Fuckboy. Mm -hmm. Like a B-O-I. <laughs> Fuckboy, no! <laughs> <laughs> Makes all the dramatic scenes a lot more interesting. <laughs> when, you, when you call Aerith slut the whole oh, scene no. where she gets stabbed, it's a little less. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's terrible. <sighs> yeah, that was pretty bad, Jeff. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, that one's on me. That one's on me. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, it's funny. I was actually listening to a podcast where we talking about Final Fantasy VI, and I feel mm -hmm. like this game is almost it has a lot of final fantasy 6 in it uh-huh it kind of so. looks like the lead boy leon from final fantasy 8 squall squall leonhart squall. yeah yeah leonhart the, that's the, it. the most emo jrpg protagonist of all time and that is saying something <laughs> yeah i got really tired of hearing that love Where? song mm -hmm. Where? I can't do it. I've tried to play Final Fantasy VIII so many times, and I hate Squall so fucking much. I'm just like, no! I'm a selfie gal. Yeah. Like, I had that haircut. Oh, ah! Okay. I need to get these bubbles out of my ears. They sound real weird. Voices? But who's? Is Bubbles not know what people are? I had a dream, and you were there. And you were there. Just because I washed up on the beach doesn't mean I'm of the sea, y'all. Merman. <laughs> Merman. <laughs> he may not see much, my lady, but appearances can be. Ah, the diamond in the rough. Oh, jeez. Aladdin. He is in need of urgent treatment. Let us return to town. Let's just like throw, a like pour a potion on top of him. That'll work. You live in a world with Phoenix Downs. Like nothing matters. What is? <laughs> What happens if somebody dies of old age in a JRPG world and then you put a phoenix down on them? I don't know. Do they just do they zombify? Do they come back to life and they just die again because they're still really old? But you just keep like you know. I feel like maybe they don't always carry phoenix downs with them when they const like when they go out every day. I mean, it's like when you pack your backpack or uh -huh. you're just like I'm just gonna go to the grocery store. I don't really need to take a phoenix down with me. Oh, I found this guy laying out on the beach. Crap! Should have brought that with. Damn it, dude! If we lived in a world with phoenix downs, I would bring one with me everywhere I went. That's fair. Because oh. there probably would also be like goblins and liches and 
cactars and shit and yeah I don't know. cactars you trying guys. to trying to go to the store and there's just like a cactar in the middle of the road then you got to get into a battle see a ton berry you're just like well i had a good run <laughs> <laughs> the serial killers of the final <laughs> fantasy world ton berries are weird i like the watercolor backgrounds Where on this it's called a house man of the sea um <laughs> he's a sea, sea man <laughs> that's right it's leonard nimoy Anyway, that's a different I like thing. his little sash. Is he a pirate boy? Yeah, that's why I was saying Final Fantasy VI. He kind of reminds me of Locke. He's mm. kind of like that little thiefy, Han solo y uh, kind of he's got thing. The vest. Yeah, he's got the white undershirt yep. and the vest. Just a regular sailor, I guess. Oh, okay. okay. Ship got hit by this huge wave mm -hmm. and swept overboard. Exposition. Right. I, I Probably not a very good seaman if you, you couldn't handle a wave. Mm -mm. I guess I must have drifted here on the tide. I see. Mm -hmm. Then perhaps it was the crystal's will after all. Oh, is she in a cult? <laughs> is she one of those weird, like, <laughs> crystal hipster chicks? Take some of our oh, literature God. about <laughs> crystals. <laughs> we have free punch. You should come to a meeting, young man. Nobody's ever tried to uh, tried to get me to join a cult before. No? No. Do you feel kind of bummed out? No, I just made my own. That's what this website is. Oh, it's, it's, fair. Yeah. It's a very light cult. Like, we don't actually need anybody to do anything. Mm -hmm. So, it's just, you know. So, there's no punch after this? No. There's no punch. There's no cookies. Boo. We don't love bomb anybody. It's just, you know. It's kind of like, I don't know. You just put it on your resume. At your service. Of Musa, huh? Of Musa. I find that amusing. <laughs> <laughs> and hey. I'm done. I had a good run here at Rage Select. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> You're supposed to wait until Act 3 to tell us you're actually a princess. Yeah. Come on. We, we play this game for seven minutes. This dramatic reveal has come way too early. Yeah. She's supposed to keep that in her back pocket, you know? So I played a little bit of this, and I, I kind of like that all the exposition happens in this weird, like... The like they just blur out like whatever screen you're on mm -hmm. instead of trying to make a background, but then I think they make up for that by uh, oh, oh there you go, down, yeah. yep. All right, let's go to the store. Uh, Whoa, let's go to the grocery store. I see if we find any boys <laughs> washed up on the beach. That's right, you're gonna get a whole party full. Uh, now, are you? uh, yeah, it's like we get our entire party just people that washed up on the no. beach, a party entirely <laughs> of pirates <laughs> and sailors, yeah. Thanks all the same. I think we should diversify so though a little well, bit. Well, this is a JRPG, so I mean, if you're gonna, people are gonna wash up on the beach. We're gonna get like an errant knight mm -hmm. and like like some lady that was raised in the jungle, sure, like sure. a steampunk man, yep, yep. Uh, like an old mage. Uh, this map doesn't make any sense. What? Yeah, it does. Look, there's like mountains and there's rivers and. Uh, oh, he doesn't recognize it. Okay. Yeah. I guess you could say that. My ship was hit by a giant wave. Hmm. Must have he doesn't recognize the map, so did he go to a different dimension than his own or something? No idea. I mean, we started out like underwater with like mm -hmm. God talking to us. Mm -hmm. Now, whether that's good God or like JRPG, the final boss is God, I don't know. But, you know. Narrator God. Yep. Maybe I should go check it out. It turns out it was me all along. Figure out what happened to me. Okay. Seaside's not far it south. It was Jeff all along. Oh, <laughs> mm, Jeff. Why don't you take the map with you in case you get lost? Tessa, Thanks. what's your what's your uh, what's mm. your peanut butter brand? Oh gosh. Well, are you are you or are you not loyal to any peanut butter brand? I'm not really loyal to any peanut butter brand. Okay. As long as it's smooth. Yeah. No chunks. Eh, yeah. I, I'm not a huge fan of it. I mean, I'll I'll still eat it. It's fine. But I prefer smooth peanut butter. All right. Whoa. Oh. Okay, yep, yeah, we saw that. I like the color palette. All the golds and kind of like muted. Mm hmm Muted colors. Home of the spring breeze. Okay, cool. So yeah, uh we can we can actually. So uh, home of the this. spring breeze. Does that is that some sort of code that everybody's wa like Run around commando, no underpants. <laughs> it's like, whoo, there's a spring breeze in here. <laughs> we all like to feel the breeze, kid. <laughs> now whip them pants off. All kilts, all the time in Halcyonia. Uh, 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 give me this. This is mine. 
What's that guy just letting you like get his shit? He's just like, I'm just gonna stare at these barrels while this guy come and comes and steals me, robs me blind. That's a little kid. He can't do anything. He mm. can't stop me. Was he a kid? They yeah. all have like the dimensions and proportions of a child. Yeah. They got that whole chibi thing going. Uh, let's go with. Uh, let's just get a better knife. Kooky. Okay. Boom. 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 Uh, so yeah, I played about, I don't know, like 90 minutes of mm -hmm. this, and uh, I really, one of the things I really like about this game is um, it takes a lot of like, okay, so I, I actually really wish that more more companies would do this. Like, Do what? Oh, okay. I like the... Anyway, sorry. I just like that scene there. Anyways. Uh, uh, so, so okay. Uh, uh, Square has decided that they don't like the whole like line up on one side, line up. Oh, well, this is a... This is a square game, so uh, take it with a grain of salt. But like for the main entry Final Fantasy series for since 10, mm -hmm. right? Every one of them has had to have some kind of wackadoodle system mm -hmm. that's real time, that's not like just line up on one side, line up on the other side, attack, attack, attack. And I, I think that that system can still totally work. And I think that games like the uh, Persona games mm -hmm. and um, some of the other like Wild Arms and or not Wild Arms, the what's that one? Tales, the Tales mm. games. There's the, on a whole trilogy or quadrilogy of those right now. Um, I think you could still totally do that. It's just a lot of them don't do anything to try to like alleviate the problems that you can have with that particular system. Yeah. Uh, and this game totally does in a way where you're still lining up on one side, lining up on the other side, turn-based battles. But like the the grindy parts. They've really put in a lot of ways to streamline it, and I love it. I'm totally there for it. Um, yeah, this guy's trying to get her to get married. Oh, boy. Um, because she's, like, what exiled. Is he, my mom? Well, okay, we've got an evil vizier, right? Or an evil... We got Jafar over there? Yeah, that guy, mustache. Horton. He's definitely... Well, they all have mustaches except for her. So. Okay, far left mustache. Thank you. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> uh, yes, far left mustache. He's like a baddie, mm -hmm. or I, I assume. I, I kind of guess because he has the more severe uh, eyebrow angle mm -hmm. tilt. That's how you know. Yeah, so she's like, she's like a princess in exile... Like her 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 kingdom was messed up and the crystals all got scattered around and she's trying to find the crystals and they're like oh you've been here for so long maybe you should get married to somebody and like cement this alliance with our kingdom and she's just like no I don't want to she's like I gotta finish my quest first before I settle down thank yeah. you <clears throat> so then he's like yeah do it get married and the match she's like slap. Shut up, Vizier. That's enough, Horton. Here's a who. Get yeah. out of here. Go back and make your hairstyle less pointy. Got that whole Birdman profile. Yeah. Sacred duty of which you speak. Teehee duty. Sacred duty. I'm 42 years old. <laughs> uh, I'm I, turning I, 36 next month, so. <laughs> and I just can't. I can't help it. I can't help it. Eh. One thing I did notice about this, though, is I don't know. I need to look further into it, but <clears throat> I noticed it specifically when I was looking at this particular screen mm -hmm. that, like, all of the men have, like, these very esoteric and different facial structures. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of the ladies have just a very round, very basic, yeah, Disney Elsa yep. uh, anime JRPG faces. I don't know. There's this one lady that shows up in a minute that just a little different, but not nearly as severe as, like, the noses and yeah. cheekbones and foreheads that are going on with all the rest of these guys. If it's guys. feminine, it must be smooth and rounded and tiny. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like it better when you have people with like, oh, angular features. Cool. One time, Not all the same. I drew this character and back in my art days and she had like that line from the side of like your nostril down to like where your mouth is. Do you know oh. what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The parentheses. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and I put it on Facebook and like my friends were all just like, this is fucking atrocious. This is so ugly. This is ridiculous. Uh, you've drawn a man with boobs. And then I took that one line out, and everybody was like, 
that's it. That's better. That's great. I love it. It's the best thing I've ever seen. Oh, wow. And I was okay. like, okay. Ouch. Okay. Well, I guess I'm a man because <laughs> I have that line on my face. I just, yes. I guess it's just when you're drawing cartoons, you're not supposed to put that line in. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So let me tell you about 100 things that this game does better than other games. Tell me. All uh, 100 starting now. So number one. Uh, you see the monsters. I actually don't have a hundred. You just started <laughs> counting. I have like I have like five. Uh, oh, okay. Well, you seriously overhyped how many things you liked about this, but do continue. Oh wait, they're not here yet. I have to go through this cutscene before they start. Oh. Out. Uh, so you can see the monsters on the map, right? So there's not just like random uh, encounters. Bruh, 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 bruh. Like you can avoid them if you want. Wait, what is, what is, is that the character from Hell's Moving Castle? It's terrible, isn't it? Oh, the yeah, the lady when she gets yeah. turned all old and stuff. Yeah. She's I mean, got a hat. Anyways. Bad, She's pretty cool. She's got a boat she loans you later. Something That's dope. Which basically, like, if you're not playing the game, you can basically go on an expedition with her boat and then turn the game off. And then as long as you're not playing the game, ah, um, you're just, like, getting stuff. And then when you turn the game back on, you just get a bunch of, like, kind of friendly. Like, this guy? <laughs> he's just kind of, like, hopping and bopping around. I was like, oh. Yep. So, yeah, one, you see the monsters. See the monsters. Two, this is the thing I really like. Uh, once you get to a certain level, uh -huh. uh, the monsters that are garbage that you shouldn't be fighting, they run away from you on the map. Oh. So, like, you know, hey, I shouldn't even be dealing with these guys because they're so low level. Yeah. Uh, now, when it comes to, um, when it comes to uh, battles, brave, the whole thing with Bravely Default is that you can brave or you can default. You can just do attacks and do whatever. Okay, you, what is a brave? So you can we, brave or default. Right, so normal JRPG rules apply where you just attack and then they attack and then you attack and then they attack. But you can also brave. And what you do when you brave is you can stack up motions. You can see that I now have minus three brave points. So I can do three turns worth of actions in one turn. Okay. But if I don't kill these guys in this turn, then they get like three free turns to just do whatever. Do whatever. Okay. Um, and then, so I'm just going to put in all, at all attacks. Um, Mess them up. Yep. And then I think that this is trying to teach me that I shouldn't, that guy should totally be dead. Uh, ah. So now they, these two get to just wail on me for a while, uh, and then every turn you get one, you get one back, and then you can also default. And defaulting is a it puts you in a defensive stance that can sometimes do other things like black mages get MP back when they default, okay. which is pretty cool. And defaulting builds a turn, right? So that you can you're banking a turn so that you can later do multiple turns, but you don't have to then stand around like a dork and let them. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll attack you. So uh, I like that. The other thing I really like is if you hit the plus button, you see up there, mm -hmm. you can set the battle speed. Ah. And then you can actually, let me show you another thing. And then it goes super fast. You can also hit the Y button and just do the thing you did previously. Oh. Uh, Repeat. So, boom, you can just do whatever you want to. So in that way, like grinding on the overworld map is super streamlined. Like a lot of monsters, you don't even have to you don't even have to really do anything because all you were going to do was hit the attack button a bunch yeah. of times anyway. Who are these nerds? That guy looks like one of the characters from Lupin the Third. Yep. These are your other, these are two more of your Warriors of Light. Uh, I don't remember her name for some reason, but I don't remember his name because it's Elvis. Uh, what? Yeah. So he's trying to Boy find uh, Asterixes, which are the things that let you switch jobs. Mm -hmm. And he's hired her as a mercenary to protect him while he does that. Mm -hmm. And she's looking for her sister that was kidnapped or something like that. So. Okay. All right. Thank you for the backstory and all these characters. Sometimes in JRPGs, I find it's very useful for me to play an hour so we don't have to spend a lot of time reading, reading. a billion lines of dialogue. I'm Wait. Elvis. Gray. 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 Yeah. We're not using Elvis's. We're not using his magic. We don't need to. Wait, just, does he have an accent? Yes, he's like Irish. He's got a little. He's got a brogue. Yeah, or a shillelagh or whatever. Boom. Uh, Bam. So yeah, and then you build up individual. Everybody has like a main job and a sub job, and the main job is. Uh, you gain XP for, and the sub job, like you could still do the things in a sub job, you just can't level up in it. So, 
Adele? That's her name? Hmm. They're all singers. Yeah. Interesting. Elvis and Adele and Bubbles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was his name? What was his default name? Bubbles' Seth. default name. Seth. Seth? Okay. I believe, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he's constantly just talking about getting wasted. Oh, boy. That's all he, what he wants to do is get totally wasted. Anyway, thanks for helping me out back there. Miss. Okay, less of that. It's just plain Adele, okay? Yeah, she has the exact same face as the other girl. I think her eyes are a little bit closer together, but that's about it. That's about it. Yeah. I don't know, different hairstyle. Sure, but. sure. But just, just but like the comparison shot. between Bubbles' face and Elvis' face, like mm -hmm. you know, Elvis has those angular features. He's also got a nose and a jaw. Yeah, a jawline. <laughs> just a wee one though, like a, a small drink because we're very small and adorable. Give me a thimble of sambuca. So they have so pints. Huzzah! Yay! Let's get thrashed after just killing a couple of goblins. Mm -hmm. Pat ourselves on the back. <laughs> so that's an asterisk, and apparently, like, that's what lets you unlock new jobs for everybody. Uh, this guy's looking for him because he's got a book, and he can't read the book without asterisks. Uh, we want him because they let us have different crazy jobs. Man, we thought we had a bad gig economy. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> This is some bullshit. They haven't discussed health insurance yet, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe we have it's to better. We a gem for that too. Yeah. It's like, that, well, the health insurance gem. Yeah. That's why you need the Phoenix down when you go out. It's like I have to quest to get my uh, my HMO asterisk in order to level up and go to the doctor. Uh huh. A shipwreck. Ah. Everybody keeps using that word. Calamity. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. He's very upbeat. He's a very glass half full kind of. They're very kind of traditional JRPG people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's some like weird characterization that comes later, but uh, I don't know. Right now, it just seems to be a very like, hey, did you like Final Fantasy? Are you tired of the fact that Square won't make them anymore? Here, here's one. Here's, have a Final Fantasy. Here, ha have this. Yeah. I mean, the fact that this game has Phoenix Downs mm -hmm. and it's not a Final Fantasy game, like, it's ridiculous. I I thought that would have been, I mean, I guess it's a Square game, so. But why not just make it a Final Fantasy game? Highness, I kind of felt that way. Well, I felt the opposite way about the Final Fantasy movie, the one that was Spirits Within. Oh. Mm -hmm. There are no chocobos. And there was no mages and stuff, and it was in outer space, and it was just like, this is just a CGI movie. This could be anything. Why is this a Final Fantasy movie? Anyways. Because there was a guy named Sid, and it was all about the planet having a problem, and a life stream, and some bullshit like that. It just, anyway, sorry. I no. could just go on a tangent about that for a good long bit. They're, they're all bad. Because <sighs> you got Spirits Within, you've got Advent Children, which is, I feel like, good... If you're into Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, but I mean, that's a, that's set in the Final Fantasy worlds yeah. collectively. And then, Just, uh, uh, oh, these two. Oh, my goodness. These two have our first two asterisks. Uh, they're trying to steal the wind crystal. Oh. I'm digging Emma Frost over there. Yeah, she's beret. got the she's got the white mage asterisk. And then the other guy's got some, like, Johnny Bravo hair. <laughs> Ooh, mama. Well, since you asked so nicely, my sharp-eyed friend, I am Selena. Yeah, and I'm Dag. I'm Dag. More like he's a jag. Yeah. Princess Gloria, we want the wind crystal. Please make this easy for everyone and hand it over. Uh, what? no. Come now. Do as we say, and no one will have to get hurt. Whoa. Is that a threat? It sounds like a threat. Selena, let's just bash him and take the bloody thing. The old god just already got one foot in the grave. We'll be done with him in no time. Yikes. Thou thinkest me too old to school thee, boy. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, that's uh. Did I'm gonna use that line. Is that what they? Think I'm too old to school <laughs> thee, eh? <laughs> like, d- is that really back in the back in the old and medieval times where they school in each other a lot? Yeah. It's where they call it an asterisk. Now I just think of like you know the punctuation. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Aha. Get him, old man. Are those like what are those like rings on the side of his sword? I was wondering the same thing. Like spin it around. The hilts, yeah, it's weird. Or his cross guard or whatever. Hmm. And they're gonna kill this kid. Oh my God! It's a kid from the (laughs) the uh, the where you stole a bunch of shit (laughs) in that tower. Yeah. Actually, I think that's the kid that stands outside the store and says, like, you should go to the store. My dad tells me to stand out here and tell people to go to the store. Oh, he basically has, like, a little sign. He twirls and dances. Yeah. Uh, those two. Those two monsters. Right there. Yep. Did they, did they hire an Assassin's Creed? They, they hired an Assassin's Creed back I don't know. There. She's got a lot of white on, but... She doesn't have a hood. I know, so. the guy back there has got the kid. Oh, yeah. He's kind of an Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yep. We... What? No. We don't deal with terrorists and... Kidnappers. People with collars popped up. Oh my! Oh, you're right. Jeez. <laughs> oh. He's so broy. Yeah. He's just like eminently hateable. She just looks like a lady. Like, I don't know. Yeah, she's just like more uh, well dressed, kind of Emma Frost, JRPG Emma Frost. Mm-hmm. Does she have like a vest built into her dress? Mm. A dress vest? Maybe? It's hard to tell. Might be like a corset situation. <laughs> you ain't the dad of me. <laughs> you ain't the princess of me. You're not my real princess. <laughs> I learned it from you. <laughs> Runs away crying. What do you what is she she's searching her? I think so. Okay. Searching her pockets? Yeah, because the whole thing is that, like, they've hidden the wind crystal. They're taking her Gloria hostage. Mm-hmm. We got to go and bring the wind crystal to get her back. Uh, and I know that you'll be shocked to find out that uh, Sir got his ass kicked, uh, teams up with R3 in order to bring the crystal to these jerks. Oh, so. really? You don't say. Yeah. Couldn't see that one coming. Oh, another party member. Yay. He's actually weird. He's not a he's not like a fully fledged party member. He just like goes with us and then like What's a drongo? I don't know. He says it all the time. I have no idea. I'm gonna have to look up what that is. Is it the same thing as dag? Dag dag all the time. Do they just like take big chunks of the um Brad Pitt's dialogue from um uh, what was that? Uh, Snatch. Snatch. You like yes. dags? Yes. All right. What dags? You like dags? <laughs> oh, dogs. <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, yeah. So now we just have to go back. And the other thing I really like Fight. is oh, a uh, doggo in a gobby. Let's see. You can also do. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. this goblin was just walking his dog, Jeff. <laughs> and then he fucking jumped him. Rude. Well, uh, so you can also get info on these characters. And one of the uh-huh. things, um, Adele and Bubbles uh, uh-huh. are both freelancers. Sure. And one of the first things that they have is the examine trait, uh, which you can use to basically just find out, like, what the weaknesses uh-huh. to these characters are. So speaking of... Musicians, singers, and walking your dog. Did mm-hmm. you hear that Lady Gaga's dogs got dog napped and her dog walker got shot in the chest? Yes. They, I, they are in critical condition but stabilized. I, I actually thought I read something today before we started recording mm-hmm. that the 
the dogs are back, that they recovered oh, them. Oh, they got the dogs back? Yeah. It's really funny. Like, Lady Gaga put out like a half a million dollar reward, no questions asked, to who like whomever took her dogs. Yeah. But if it was me, I'd be like, half a million to whoever turns in the assholes who shot my friend and dog walker, you know? Yeah. Like, that would have been my reward, not, I want my... I mean, sure, get your dogs back, but most importantly, get the assholes who shot someone for your dogs. Anyways, that's just me. I actually, um, uh, I was reading an article that said that, like, French bulldogs are are constantly dog-napped mm-hmm. just because they tend to be very expensive. Mm-hmm. And uh, We're living in quarantine, and people, it's like a black market for fancy pets for people the, that are lonely. Right, but then, like, who's who's buying their dog on the black market? Who's like meeting with a guy in a shady, like a trench coat in an alley to get a French bulldog? Like, well, probably there's probably a mediary that seems less sketchy, is what the situation is. It's a person, right. black market, and then fences it to legitimate, more legitimate people who then sell it to normal people ish. Okay. So they don't know that they're buying a stolen dog, you know uh, what I mean? Yeah, I feel that makes like sense. that's a. That's, I don't know anything about black market dealings, but that is going to be my educated guess. <laughs> Um, I don't really know anything about anything, though. Uh, well, we, well, you seem to know about uh, this game. I know about JRPGs a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Uh, well, we who's this pig boy? Uh, he's just another another guy. Oh, Bubble's almost dead. Are we in Legend of Zelda now? Uh-oh. This could be a problem. Rot row. But, like, you can see how fast these, like, grindy encounters go. Yeah, they're very fast. Uh, and so I like that because it means that... You know, one of the things I like the idea. Okay, so I don't like it when JRP, some JRPGs will mm-hmm. do this thing where um, you, uh, where they they like moderate the difficulty, right? So mm-hmm. that it's always kind of the same challenge. Final Fantasy VIII did that. Like you couldn't out level the enemies in Final Fantasy VIII because they would scale to wherever you were. Sure. A lot of games will do that um, as a way to make it so that uh, players never feel like they're able to, they never feel like trapped or like. Like, they can't continue with the game, right? Yeah. Um, but the problem I have with that is that it means that you are you never feel like... I think that there's a real value in that point in a JRPG where you're so powerful that everything just dies in one hit. And yeah. you're like, I did that. Like, I earned that through my time sure. and my leveling up and, like, the equipment and stuff that I'm using. I managed to break Final Fantasy VIII pretty good. Yeah. Because there's a point in it at uh, Le, Bomb, Le Bomb Gardens, or I think is what it's called, it's been, or Balam. I can't remember. It's been ages since I played. Balam sounds right. Balam Gardens. Yeah. Well, anyways, there was, like, a dance or something, but there's also, like, an ice skating rink in there, and you can fight these hockey Shit. boys, and you can level up really fast, uh-huh. but you can't swap out your team. Mm-hmm. So I, like, leveled up half of my team to, like, level 99, and the rest were still, like, level, like, 20 or 30 or something. Mm-hmm. And then I totally just fucked up that whole game mechanic of it levels with your character kind of deal. Mm-hmm. I mean, so I know it's a super unbalanced team. Yeah, I know there's some ways in eight to break it. Oh uh, yeah, I've, I've broken a couple different ways. But like, there was a, I think, um, Elder Scrolls Oblivion kind of did that too, where like it, it just would constantly kind of keep the game on an even keel. And I don't, I don't like that. I like it when when you can. Like when there's an area that you're not able to do, and then you work at it, and then you are able to do it, and then eventually it becomes trivial. Yeah. I think that's good game design, personally. Um, so, but then the downside of that is that if you have something like that, then you might have a situation where a player has to do essentially the busy work of grinding in sure. order to get to a level where they can kill everything. And I think that if you have a system like this where Garbage individual encounters are so. Oops, Elvis died. Oh uh, no! <laughs> Diddy though, Diddy though. Uh, I hear he's still alive somewhere. That's right. Is in Area Fifty One. He's he's, uh, he's uh was picked up by the oh, aliens. Jesus. Oh, and, uh, let's just go back to town. I want to go back to town. <laughs> uh, <laughs> They're gonna get you. They're gonna get you. Um. <laughs> so I think that that's a really good way. Uh, that's a really good like like splitting the difference basically Hmm. so still have uh, places where you might have to grind but make the task of grinding uh, uh, potentially easier if Hmm. you decide you want to do it so what's up kid okay what's the matter Uh, a horrible man and woman took me but then an old man and another woman (laughs) really don't don't even know that she's the princess learn some pronouns kid (laughs) jesus this is the most generic story i've ever heard of like 
okay, what would you like me to do? I call the. Are there not police in this town? Oh, like guards? guards? Yeah. Okay. yeah. I got my ass kicked super hard. <laughs> oh, why am I so old? <laughs> why is this shit falling? Um. You're hurt. We need to get you seen to right away. <sighs> <laughs> Nerve. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna wrap it up here, and then um. I'm just gonna end it at grunty old man. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, there's a bunch that happens between, but I think that tomorrow we are gonna skip to the point where we get where we kick the asses of uh, Bro Dog and the uh, Emma Frost. Uh, okay. Because in between, there's a lot of like walking around and grinding and going places and getting new equipment and all that stuff. Tutorial land. Yeah, exactly. More tutorial land. So, yeah, we'll just we'll just jump to the next uh, plot point. Jump cut. In the meantime, uh, hit the like, subscribe button. Go to patreon.com forward slash rage uh, Help us out. Kick us some bucks. Get some bonus videos. Get access to the Discord server. Get all kinds of good stuff. We'll get those two things. You know, that's enough. That's... I don't know what else you want from me, but um, <laughs> everything, Jeff. They want everything that's, from you. Everything you have to give. That's very true. That's very true. <laughs> I have very little left to give, though. That's what I have to give is Discord access. That's what you can get. Um, yeah, actually, uh, I, I'll say it again. I got to keep bringing it up because I feel like I need to talk myself into it. But uh -huh. at some point this year, uh -huh. I might try auctioning off like an episode. Uh, auctioning? Yeah, some some like Patreon places, some shows I listen to, and some Let's Players do this where it's like you put in a tier where it's like if you want to give us like a hundred bucks, then you could pick the game, oh. and we'll play whatever game you want. We'll say your name on the air and be like, this one's sponsored by so and so. And then just don't be Raycon. It just don't be Raycon, and then you can sponsor an episode. And I've been thinking about doing that. That's fun. The main issue that I'm having is I'm trying to figure out the right price, and I'm also trying mm -hmm. to figure out um, because... What's too high? What's too low? Like, what's a good, like, yeah. Yeah, because, like, it's if you want us, and, like, sh if, we, if somebody wants us to play a game that we've already played, like... Or play more of the same game. Play yeah. more of the same game. To play like, do I ask if you pick uh, the co-host because that may make things take longer. There's a lot of ins and outs, but I, sure. I've been thinking about it, and I think I might try it. I might just do like one and see how it goes, sure. and then maybe see how it goes from there. But, Sounds fun. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, people are always in the chat being like, "Have this be a repeating thing? Do oh, a yes. series of this? Yes. You know? So if they want it to be a serial thing, yeah, they can throw throw put their money where their mouth is, kind of." Thing. It's true. Fair enough. Uh, what about Rage Slight? Tessa, where can people find you on the internet? Oh, uh, I, I live mostly on Instagram under my name, Tessa Morrison, all one word. I mostly uh, post a lot of my fiber art and puppets and cosplay and all that all that shit on there. Um, I am also a reviewer for oneofus.net. Uh, you can find some of my reviews on there and a slew of other awesome content with those kids. Um, but yeah, that's where mostly they can find me on the interwebs. All right, cool. And with that, we're going to go and wrap it up. We'll be back tomorrow with more Bravely Default 2. Honkly Default. Honk, honk. There you go.